Hi, my name is Jason Huval, broker for Central Metro Realty. And today I'm going to talk to you about this form, the Notice to Tenant of Change in Management and Accountability for Security Deposit. This is form TXR2210. And what uh, this came up from a couple of my agents now, we're uh, seeing more properties that are being sold with tenants in place. And we want need to tell those tenants that we, you know, the, who the new owner is and who they need to pay rent to and uh, where the security deposit is. And so in a nutshell, that's what this form is for, um, or uh, how, at least how we're using it. Uh, but it can also be used for a change in, in property management services, which is another, another talk. Uh, right now, I just want to talk about how we're using this form uh, whenever a buyer is buying a property with a tenant in place and to uh, let that tenant know uh, who's the new sheriff in town. So I'll get right to it. Pretty straightforward. Um, this is to the existing tenant in the property is your first blank. This should be the property address that goes in the second blank. This first item here talks about the change in management. So it says the previous broker here. Now our, uh, I believe at TAR, they designed this form to be uh, more for a change in uh, property managers, but we're using this uh, in this particular instance for landlords. So we just added the previous broker or landlord and whoever your uh, previous seller was, to call them Joe Seller in this example, is no, no longer managing the property effective. And that's probably going to be your close date uh, unless there's some other arrangement or whatever that you had on a contract, but most likely it'll be the close date. Uh, and again, in our example here, this previous owner has sold the property. There are other options. Ownership of the property has not changed. Management has uh, changed or the previous broker has terminated its relationship with the owner. But again, for our purposes, we're talking about uh, homes that are sold with a tenant in place. So our option A is what we're looking at. And then there next is to talk about the security deposit. Um, the amount of the security deposit is whatever the amount is on that security deposit. Let's say it's a thousand bucks. That's where it would go. Any additional amounts deposited. Sometimes throughout a lease, you may have things like uh, somebody gets a pet and you increase their deposit by a few hundred bucks or whatever the agreed upon amount is for uh, Fluffy or whoever comes into the property. Um, less any deductions through the date of this notice. Now, the only thing that, you know, I can really come up with here on this is where you, uh, let's say Fluffy moved out, maybe you gave him a deposit, some of that money back, um, or in the event that you had uh, some money owed to the previous, let's say the seller had done some uh, repair work that was owed to them from the tenant. Say they, the tenant did something in the house, maybe they crashed a window or something that was the tenant's responsibility there's still money that's owed to that seller, right? The, of that property, that particular landlord, but now he's transferring the deposit over to the new guy. Well, he wants to make sure he keeps that window repair, whatever that repair was money. This is a good place to, or this is where he would put it. And so it would bring us to our current balance, which is whatever amount we're letting the tenant know is being transferred in the security deposit. Um, any deductions or additions to the original amount tendered are itemized, are itemized as follows. This is where you would explain what, what happened above. If it was an addition of fluffy or uh, money given back for windows or whatever the case may be. And so below we have two other options here or two options. The person who is now responsible to account for your security deposit is, and that would probably be Joe Buyer, right? Our new, our new guy, um, for us, but in some instances, I guess, you can have the current balance of security deposit being returned to you. This is you giving the money back to the tenant. Um, so then our next section, the new broker manager owner, the following person or company is now A, responsible for the property, B, the person to whom you should direct any questions about security deposit or, or any obligations under the lease, and the person to whom you should make future rent payments. And this would, again, this would be our Joe buyer and their information. Now this could be also be, I, I keep you know saying that it's the buyer, I'm talking about self-managed properties. This could be a property management company. It could be, you know, somebody, an owner is selling, maybe he was self-managed, maybe he had a property manager and it's going to a new property manager. That scenario plays out here just this, you know, very similarly, but it would be the property manager's information. Um, and then lastly, the signature. Now, um, who's signing off on this is really is dependent upon which form that you use. Uh, if you've done this correctly, it should be the new owner of the property that is um, advising the tenant of who they are and you know where to you know how to contact them and their information. Uh, so you check the box owner and and then you would or new owner rather, and uh, they would 
sign off on this form. Now, uh, I'm, 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 I'm saying that because there's a, another form that should have been used in the transaction, which I'm not going to cover here, but I just want to show what it is, is addendum uh, regarding residential leases. This is let me, what form number TXR 1953. This should be made part of the contract. And so spelled out in this form uh, puts the onus on the new buyer to uh, inform the tenant that they have the security deposit. And so that's why we're saying here to sign off on uh, as the new owner. I hope this helps um, answer any questions you may have about this form. You can always reach us anytime. Again, my name is Jason Huval, broker and owner of Central Metro Realty. Thanks so much for watching.